Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this is a pretty big network update out of T-Mobile. T-Mobile launches first ever 5G network slicing beta for developers. Now, it's, it's a big deal because T-Mobile is the first to this in terms of, you know, publicly announcing this. Verizon, they do some network slicing. They do some SA stuff, but it's more on the... It's more behind the scenes, right? They're running it on fixed wireless access right now. That's where they're testing. They're not really doing it for consumer just yet. Don't have enough NR radios across the network, um, or so I'm told by the by the engineer. So they're they're waiting. They 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 have a more more wait and see approach. They're going slower. They're waiting till all of their radios are upgraded with NR, you know, and then they'll eventually go to SA more nationally. Then then they'll do the the, the network slicing commercially. They'll do the voice over NR. So Verizon's approach, you know, they're 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 gonna take their time on this. They're not rushing this. And AT&T, they're they're just about the same. So as I've stated in the previous video, T-Mobile is going to be the first on just about any newer technology that involves 5G, whether that's standalone. They've already done that. S a network slicing voice over NR to 100 million plus pops. That's still that launch is still coming. Don't know what's taking so long on that, but. You know, T-Mobile's strength isn't calling, so not not really too surprised there. If you look at all of their scientific uh, scores on root metrics, they generally score worst on calling. So not too surprised on that one. But again, pretty big deal here. So beta program to focus on video calling so developers can enhance capabilities for critical real-time communication applications. So, you know... FaceTime should probably get better as well on this. Beta participants already include Dialpad, Google, WebEx, Cisco, Zoom, and more. So that's going to be very interesting. So what's the news? T-Mobile launched a network slicing beta for developers based on application type. Initially focused on bringing video calling applications to the next level. So why does it matter? Network slicing is a, is a new technology enabled by 5G standalone architecture that can deliver optimal network performance characteristics based on a use based on a use cases requirements. With the only nationwide 5G SA network in the country, T-Mobile is uniquely positioned to unleash this game-changing capability. So again, first, first to that as well. Who's it for? Developers who want to take video calling applications to the next level. This is, this is going to impact the consumer at some point. Once these applications, these apps are ready and the network slicing is more out of beta commercially launched, it's going to be good for everyone. Should make FaceTime better. Should make any type of video calling that you do even better. So again, when it comes to that, when it comes to the 5G firsts, I mean, this is another add to the list for T-Mobile. They'll have plenty more um, as this year goes on. And anything involving like 5G advanced or, you know, 1024, quant, whatever it is, T-Mobile is likely going to be first to, to launching it commercially when it comes to anything involving 5G. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.